Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another small transport ship and this one is for taking a friend from a planet over to a space station if that's what you want to do. So we're looking at the Olympus 200 transport shuttle which is this lovely thing right here. It has a simple cockpit on the front and if we come all the way around the back we have a little ramp that can open up that will lead to a doorway and will take you on inside to store up to six different people. Of course you can have some people standing up but that's not very safe. Yes if we come around to here we'll then find it in the spawn menu so F10 finding the shuttle. There it is. This thing is 2,881 small blocks using none of the DLC blocks and no mods. And we have a large amount of information surrounding the story and design of the ship as well as a small little bit of information about what the ship can do and some notes for those who have been following this developer and want to use this ship with other stuff. So coming out of that let's have a quick look around the outside and then we'll fly it around a bit and that will be that. So at the very front here we got ourselves a fighter cockpit surrounded by some white blocks with a nice red stripe going straight through the middle. At the very very front where the red stripe comes to a point we have a camera to aim straight forwards. On our left and our right we've then got some thruster pods surrounded by some black blocks. We have a O2H2 generator that sits inside with two hydrogen thrusters that sit on each of the access points with a spotlight that sits in the dead middle. Let's come and get a better look at that, like so. So hydrogen thrusters are the only form of thrust that appear on this ship so we are good for going around all the different places in this game. As we move all the way around the side the red stripe makes its appearance once again with some more thrusters going along the middle of it and we have a red blinking light just to break it up. If we come around to the opposite side instead of a red light we have a green light. So there we go and it does look good in the darkness. Let's come back around to this side because the sun is here and move along to the back where we will see our main thrust which is going to be two large hydrogen thrusters completely separated and surrounded by some more black blocks. In the middle we've got ourselves a blast door set of blocks which is going to be our ramp in and out. We can come up to it and press that button. Alarms will sound, a small delay will happen, this will flop down and reveal to us a doorway. The doorway will also open up during this process and allow your people to get in and out more nice and safely. Doing it like this means that it will be airtight on the inside so you don't have to worry about your passengers carrying any kind of oxygen bottles or wasting any kind of air inside here so it does make it very very good. Yes we have a button there, we have a camera so the pilot can see backwards if you need to reverse up to something and we do have a little light there to make sure that no one's going to get splattered by the door when it opens up. If we come up and above we didn't have some spoilers at the back there in case you really wanted it and at the top we got some more hydrogen thrusters and another blinking light. We then come all the way around past our cockpit down below we'll see yet again another blinking light and a landing gear for ourselves to plop ourselves down once we're done our duty. Moving towards the main body of the ship, even more hydrogen thrusters. We have a connector there that has a spotlight on the bottom and a camera on the top to allow you to line yourself up if you needed to dock properly or to recharge your hydrogen tanks. Moving towards the back, another light that blinks, some more landing gear and there is the back of our ship with our little ramp doorway. So now it's time for me to get into my character and we can have a little play around with the door. So coming to the back we can just come across to here, let's just actually get the lights, in fact no I will leave the light where it is and hit the button, the yellow light turns on, blink, we get a nice little sound, it opens up, the door opens up and we can now waltz our way inside here and we've got a few buttons to play around with. So turning around and pressing that button, the alarms go, the light flashes, the doors will close, the ramp will come up and now we're nice and airtight inside here. We then got a few more buttons which we can play around with which involves the lights. So if we're in the danger zone we can make this all red and gloomy or if it's just a nice casual voyage we can keep it on the nice glowy lights. We have a camera there to make sure the pilot can see if you're up to mischief or not. We have an air vent right there so we don't suffocate 
We've got some lights there, which is how we're going to rotate between both of these. Pressing that, we'll turn off one and activate the other. There we go. And a sound block, which is where the sound is coming from for opening and closing the door. We then have a LCD screen, which is displaying our speed and the way our mouse is going when we're turning. And a small access point to a cargo container so we could leave some gifts for your passengers if you wanted to. So just coming around there, let's just open up that. The alarm sound, doors open. And we can make our way to the cockpit. Let's just come and hop down here, press that button. There we go, and that'll close up. Now it's time to hop into this and see what this has to offer. So, coming around to here, let's just go and find our sunlight. Number one, two is for our beacon and our antenna. Our camera is on three, four, and five. That's to view the forwards, to view down, and to view backwards. Coming out of that, number six is to lock or unlock our landing gear. Seven is to lock or unlock our connector at the very bottom. Number eight is for our hydrogen thrusters on and off in case you don't need it. And number nine is to disable or enable our gyroscopes. So I'm turning here, switching it on, we lose control. On tab number two, we then have a camera to view inside our little passenger bay. We can press number two to activate the sound block and open up all the doors. There we go, so we're gonna remotely do it so your passengers can be nice and lazy. Then we can press it again to close everything up. Number four is the danger zone button where we can press that and everything becomes all red and gloomy. Pressing that again, we'll then switch it to the nice safe light. Number five is to turn on and off the little interior lights all the way around the ship. So pressing that, we'll no longer get any blinking lights. Switching them back on, we'll resume the blinking. Six is for our O2H2 generators, seven for our gyroscopes, eight is for our air vents, so if we were to open this up in space it'll probably be a good idea to switch them off. And number nine is to turn on and off our batteries. And that is that. So now it's time to fly this thing around and see how it handles. So going forwards, we have a nice amount of speed. Look at that go all the way up. And then stopping, we are a little bit slower, but it's still pretty damn decent. And if we're not happy with that, we can always do a 180 and boost forwards to stop almost instantly. Going left and going right, we are quite slow, but we don't really need to do too much maneuvering outside of docking and taking off. Going down and then going up. Going up is much faster than everything else it feels like, and going down is not too bad. That means we can pull away from a planet nice and quickly, especially if we're trying to pull away from an exploding station. And then last but not least, wiggling my mouse around, this is what we get. There is a nice amount of control over this, not really too much weight, it might be a bit floaty for some, so you might need to turn down the gyroscopes just a little bit. Let's just go and drop them down to there. There we go, we've got a bit of meat on that now. So as for that, there is not too much else to talk about, other than to fly over to this asteroid and crash ourselves into it. We haven't done a crash for such a long time, Let's go out on a nice big boom. I should have added the mod that causes hydrogen tanks to explode, so I'm sure this ship would make a very spectacular explosion with that. We'll just cruise along here. Let's go and check in on our passengers. There's no one in here. I probably should have spawned in some of the replay AI, but never mind. Anyway, there will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it's a nice designed ship. And that's a nice lot of utility. And there we go. We just go head first into it. The cockpit is destroyed. And it appears we do have a sneaky projector hidden away on there. I did not see a block for that. But we can repair ourselves up if we wanted to. How about that? I did not notice that. So just removing all these. We have got a projector hidden away. Very, very nice. Anyway, as I was saying, there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do want to play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.